Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey guys, it's James with The Chart Guys. It is Wednesday, December 3rd. I'm going to do my nightly video on gold. So gold, as I've said, is since this bullish reversal candle and the confirmation with increasing bull volume on this big green candle here, we've been setting higher highs on every daily candle here. Um, including today, but we could be in for reversal here. And what I'm looking for is, uh, as we've been setting higher highs on every daily candle, you can look at the lows of these candles and see that they've been setting higher lows as well. So we haven't had a, uh, a lower low on any daily candle yet. So I'm going to look for the low of today of candle 1308.90. If that breaks, that tells me further consolidation is coming. And then we'll start seeing um, what, what happens with these MAs. So it has yet to break the for EMA here, which is currently at 1309.90, hasn't haven't gotten a close below it yet. If we get a close below that, then we're going to look for a back test of the ADMA at 1301.20, and then if we break that, looking for that 20 MA uh, back test. But for now, we're going to look for just a, some healthy consolidation here on the short term. So again, I'd watch the low of today's candle 1308.90. If we break below that, that tells me we're going to have some further consolidation coming, uh, which we haven't had much of consolidation at all yet. As again, the dailies have set higher highs and higher lows on every single daily candle since this reversal candle. Weekly, weekly potentially forming a uh, bearish reversal candle on the week. We do still do have two more trading days left. So we'll see if what type of candle we form here. And uh, bulls do need to be a little bit careful here because they could be getting exhausted here. And you're looking at the volume decreasing here on the weekly. So um, if we do get a bearish reversal candle next week, I will look for a, a volume spike above this week's volume, um, confirming that bearish reversal if we get a red candle next week that we're gonna further consolidate. Um, supports to be watching on this weekly. Long term, again, we've been setting lower highs. I uh, finally broke to a higher high. So this is the previous resistance, 1301.30 is now gonna be support that I'll watch on the weekly charts. If we break 1301.30, than 1300 psychological level. Uh, I definitely think that bulls need to be careful. If we get a daily candle close below 1300 on the daily, then we could see more significant uh, consolidation here on the daily. But um, again, for now, it's any type of consolidation will be healthy with such a big move from the bottom. Uh, we do have increasing da daily volume today, and it was in favor of the uh, bears. This is, uh, you could consider this a uh, a reversal candle here <clears throat> on the daily. So again, watch tomorrow. I'm going to be watching for either a break below uh, 1308.90, or I'm going to see if we finally set a lower high on the daily. And if that if that's the case, then I'm going to look for entry into bear miners uh, for for a short term swing as as gold finds some consolidation. And you can look at GDX has significant pullback today, a lot weaker than gold. The, <clears throat> it was a lot of dip buying here. Bulls did by the dip um, off the bottom after FOMC reaction, but not really on any significant volume to me. Uh, that was pretty weak volume on that dip buying on GDX. GDXJ was pretty weak volume as well. Um, so not liking the volume action yet on this bounce. It's just an oversold bounce to me, in my opinion, on junior and senior miners. And um, the dailies... I don't think we had an inside candle, no. So this is the new consolidation low here on, on GDXJ, the low of 3402. Um, and we have pretty much a double bottom on, on, on junior miners. Again, we have a perfect double bottom on JNUG, but uh, pretty close to a double bottom on GDXJ as well. It's at 3390. So if you see a 30, if you see today's low break of 3402 and see 3390 uh, break, then I would look for a bear position as I see more significant consolidation coming in miners. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow.